Welcome to Knowledge 5, Lesson 10, The Inca, The Runner. He waited by the side of the road, glancing back every minute or so. He had already warmed up his muscles, stretching and bending, preparing for what he was about to do. Now he was ready. While he waited, he thought about a few years ago, when he had first become a runner for the Inca. You are the fastest runner in our village, the old man had told him on that day five years before. Everyone in our village farms. We pay the emperor by giving him part of our crop each season. This is how we pay for soldiers to protect us and for priests to pray for us. But no matter how much we give, always the answer comes back to us, more, more, you must give us more. But you, boy, can change all that. If you become a runner, our people will not have to give as much of our crop to the emperor. If we do not have to give as much of our crop to the emperor, it will mean more food for hungry mouths. It will bring honor upon you, your family, and your tribe. Looking into the old man's eyes, he knew that he had no choice. Soon after the old man told him this, the royal servants came to the village high upon a steep mountainside. They had heard how fast the boy could run and they were there to see if he really was such a fast, long-distance runner. The servants sent one man some distance down the mountain road, and then had the young runner sprint to the man as fast as he could. He raced along, loving the free feeling of running. The wind was blowing in his hair, and his feet seemed to move as if they had minds of their own. He had run fast that day to show that he could, and that same day the servants took him from his village and his family, the only people and the only home that he had ever known. Now you have the honor of being a runner, he was told. The emperor has commanded many roads to be built so that he can send orders and messages all over his mighty empire and receive back news from even the most distant corners of his nation. You will carry news, orders for the soldiers and governors who serve our emperor, and occasionally even small objects. Another runner will appear at a specific time and at a specific place to bring these things to you. Then, you will carry them for many miles and hand them in turn to the next runner. It is a great honor to serve the emperor in this way, and you will be cared for accordingly. You shall always be well fed. There will always be warm, comfortable places for you to rest or sleep at the end of your time running. And look, this bracelet of gold and copper is for you to wear. Since that time, the runner had carried news many times. Sometimes the runner before him handed off a leather bag with straps he could throw over his shoulders so that it would not get in the way of his even stride. He himself never knew what the bag contained. He was forbidden to look. His job was simply to carry it onward. Now, as he waited, he wondered what he was to carry this time. Was it news for him to memorize and pass on to the next runner? Would there be a bag this time? How far was he to run before he would see the next runner waiting for him by the road as he himself now waited? Then he looked once more along the road and saw another runner coming. But what was this? The man was having trouble standing upright. He was gasping for breath. 
It was obvious he had run faster than he had ever run before. What is it? the runner said. The other man answered, Strangers in metal. They're, they're riding on, I, I cannot tell you. I do not know, know what to call them. None of this made sense to the runner, but before he could speak, the man told him, There is no time. Take this. He shrugged himself out of the straps and handed him the pouch. Run, as you never have run before. There are enemies among us. The other man gasped. Run, run, my brother. So the runner swung the straps over his own shoulders. But before he left, he helped the other man sit down with his back to the trunk of a shady tree to rest. Here is water, he said, giving the other messenger his own supply. I will take the news. I promise you the emperor will receive this message. Then, as he turned and sprang forward with all his might, he heard the other man repeat again in deep, gasping breaths, Run, run, my brother. After that, all he heard was the sound of his own footsteps as he settled into his running pace and turned the bend in the road, knowing he had a long way to go.